Hello, in this video I wanted to talk about the Sunny Akani rest shot that uh, was quite unusual to see on the TV and I just wanted to go through it with everybody and just to show you just exactly how he does it. I think it's a great thing that he does, uh, it's quite genius to be honest. Um, for those of you that are struggling with the rest, I do have a video on the channel that explains how to use it better. Uh, if you want to take a look at that, then I'll leave a link in the description and you can watch that video and let me know how you're getting on with it. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll just run through how this shot works. It's quite unusual how he does it, but I do think it's genius. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of it now. So I think the reason why he came to develop it was because he himself was struggling with the rest and couldn't get to grips with how to use it. That's my own guess. I mean, I'm not sure because I haven't heard anything about it. That's just my assumption that he's developed this method because he really struggles with the rest. Um, and this would be a good, you know, a good compensation if you can't, if you really can't, you know, use the rest and you really do struggle, then this would be a good alternative. So <clears throat> basically what he does, and I think the reasoning behind it is, he still wants to feel as though he's still playing the traditional way, i.e. with his cue on a, on a, on a sort of bridge, bridge hand and this, this cue in motion with his, with his foot, you know, with his cueing arm. He, he still wants to use this on any kind of shot, any kind of distance shot, especially a long distance rest shot, such as the one I've set up here. And I think that's the reasoning behind it. So how he does it is he gets an extension onto the end of his cue and he extends it out to its fullest so that the playing cue is extended as fully as can can be as fully as possible and then what he does is he gets the rest and puts it down and puts the cue on the rest but from this position this would be sort of like the normal rest rest method I mean I would have needed a longer rest or an extension on the rest for it to be a natural way of using it but this is the traditional way, sort of like this. But what he does, because he's fully extended the cue out, he's able then to use this rest as a sort of bridging platform for his hand. So he, he maintains that, that bridge hand, but on the rest to make him feel like he's still a part of the shot. And then as you can see by my arm on the cue, it's, it's still, acting as though it's on the end of a playing cue, which, which it is, except it's on the extension. And then what he does is he just gets down and plays, plays naturally. So my bridge hand is on the rest now, clamping the rest down on the table, which I alluded to in the rest play video because you need the rest to be stable, otherwise it would move. So he even encapsulates that part of the using the rest. So he pins it down with a virtual bridge hand, so to speak, and then he's able to then, you see, use this natural movement of his cue. So you get down and you line everything up as you would, and then you bring the cue back and then strike. And it's as naturally looking as possible, but you've had to play a long distance rest shot. And I do think it's a brilliant method. And when I first saw it on the TV, I couldn't quite believe what I was seeing. But yeah, I think it's very, very good. And try it yourselves. I mean, it's, it isn't that difficult. It's just a case of understanding which parts of the equipment he uses and how he uses them. And after studying the video, I was able to make this demonstration. But I think it's definitely something that I'll consider doing in, in the future when I'm playing in a game or I can't quite see a shot or can't quite reach it. I'm definitely going to use this now that I've 
figured it out for myself. And hopefully this video demonstration was good enough for you to try it yourselves as well. So I hope that, that I've been able to do that. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope that you try it. Leave some comments for me to let me know if you think it's useful and you think that it works for you. I'm definitely going to use it and I think it's very, very good. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.